Hello? today praise oh I'm so happy you enjoyed the prayer today I felt it mm. that was moving in prayer you whoop whoop you got in <laughs> God bless you oh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the prayer you like my shirt yes get him to the back of it he's it yes <laughs> yes where am I from? I am from Port Huron, Michigan. Port Huron, Michigan. I'm so glad you guys received the prayer this morning. Well, hi, God bless you, new follower. I hope you continue to follow us. I'm so happy you're on the Dream Scope today. God bless you. First time getting in. Okay, watch out now. I'm so happy you enjoyed prayer. I'm telling you. One of my good friends on Facebook sent me this wonderful song today. I like the song. Yes. I'm glad you got in. I felt that prayer today. Yes. <laughs> I'm dangerous while you driving. <laughs> well, pull over now. Pull over. <laughs> good afternoon from Dallas. How you doing? God bless you. All right, that's right. Get your prayer in. We'll get the replay. And why was still up? I didn't even my husband to download it. Did you guys send him emails? I told you I'd email him. <laughs> God bless you guys today. Um, we're going to pray today. I'm going to do a little bit of talking about a few things. And then we're going to go into question and answer. So get your questions ready. Again, try not to ask me a lot of dreams because I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example of why today okay give you an example of why today because I'm gonna get all messed up now they scared <laughs> about they dream and this is what they dream mean okay so I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean okay <laughs> um we're going to uh going to pray and um we're going to get into it I'm gonna give you a couple examples on that so you guys please share share with somebody tell somebody we're on here let them know we love the Lord we find the Lord in different ways on a dream scope, but we do seek Him. Thank you, Riri. I appreciate it. Lady Rutherford, thank you so much. God bless you. T-Baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm so happy. I love to pray. God bless you. Claudia, Elaine, Gloria, thank you. P. Murphy, Queen, Royal, thank you. Good afternoon. I'm so happy you enjoyed prayer. Boy, I felt the Spirit of the Lord this morning in the prayer. I have to tell you what God showed me in the vision I was having while I was praying. I was literally in a vision while I was praying this morning. Uh, I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to give people a few more chances to get on it, and we're going to start. You know what? My mother bought me this shirt, and she gave it to me yesterday. And so I have no idea where she got it from, but I will ask her <laughs> where she got this shirt from. But she got it for me and told me to wear it on the scope. I love this shirt and, you know, it looks good. And it's, you know, black, so black is swimming too. Oh, by the way, I lost 10 pounds. I'm moving. I'm moving. It's only 10, but, I, you know, I'm good. I got about 20 more pounds, but I'm, I got my 10 off, so I'm geeked about that. <laughs> First 10, I'm, I'm just geeked about it. So I'm working out, trying to get my weight down, trying to get my weight down. You know, it's a little funny, you know, when I moved, I had my stuff in storage for probably like five years. So I went and got my stuff out of storage. And I got a lot of clothes in there. Found like 10 pounds. And oh, you found 10? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I put my clothes out. I have a lot of clothes that are uh, smaller, smaller than what I am right now. Smaller, smaller. And so I'm trying to get back to my smaller, smaller uh, clothes. I'm not throwing my stuff out. I don't give my clothes away. <laughs> so I'm getting back in those clothes because they're nice. <laughs> so whoop, whoop. Uh, I gotta get back in it, so I'm I'm working hard. I'm working hard. God bless you. So let's pray. 
Um, we're going to get started. Hello, hello. God bless you. Lord, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. We praise your name. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. Lord, you're good. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, God, for the revelation you've given us. We thank you for knowledge and wisdom. We ask you, God, now that I decrease, that you may increase. The revelation given, God, comes from you and not from me. And we thank you right now, God, for revelation, deep understanding of the things of God. We thank you right now to prepare people's hearts to receive today, that the questions come forth, the revelation come forth, the wisdom come forth, and then bless us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. God bless you. Okay, so... A um, couple quick things before we get into the question and answer portion. One, I was talking about the vision I had. So I was actually having a literal vision while I was praying this morning. It was really awesome. And the Lord was showing me while I was praying. He was showing the bride, or of course the church. So I seen a bunch of people in a circle with a huge chain wrapped all around it. And I actually seen uh, like demonic spirits standing in front um, of us. So it was like the whole body... Uh, a chain wrapped around all the people, and then there was like these like demonic spirits standing there. And the Lord was beginning to speak to me while I was praying. He was saying that he's about to unchain. He's about to unleash the body of Christ. And he was even speaking, saying that it has been an amount of time. It was for a matter of time, for a season. It was actually allowed to bind the church. It's been a season of that. But the season that's coming now, where he's going to begin to unleash the church, the, bind, the, uh, the, the bands are beginning to break off and fall off. And the imps, the demons that were standing there were beginning to be chained themselves. And God said he was unleashing us. He was unchaining us to move forward in this season. And then when the season comes, it'll be a season of great prosperity, a season of great miracles, and things are going to be happen. And so the people were being loose to run. We're being loose to run. And so I thought it was really awesome in this vision. I'm praying, and I'm seeing the vision at the same time, and it was totally awesome so i'm excited about what god's about to do in the body of christ so really get ready to run in this season get ready to begin to move god's gonna just loose a lot of things from us a lot of things that the enemy has been binding us with for years god's gonna loose it very quickly and allow us to run and prosper so it was really awesome i wanted to just tell you guys that i felt the prayer this morning such a great vision so receive that receive that god's gonna do great things um, in our lives this season, the season that he's going to do great things and we're going to move. Yes, I love the run. I love the runners. Yes, 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 running. I like to, you know, I need to give me some emojis because I be like, I don't know where you are. You guys are downloading for that or something? I need some of those. So, <laughs> I need some emojis. Where are they at? I feel like I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, we're going to run. So, it's really awesome. All right. So, receive that. You ready to run? God's going to do it. Yes, leap forward. Such big leaps. I was praying about leaping, acceleration, but more leaping than acceleration. I know acceleration is coming. Now, acceleration, of course, is when you don't skip any steps. So every step that you were supposed to take, you take it at an accelerated rate, right? So you have to go through every single step. You just go through really fast. But the leaping is even better because it means you get to leap over steps. You get to leap over things that God literally catches us as we leap. But even this morning, I see more leaps happening even than acceleration. So it's exciting times. God's going to move us really quickly, so get ready um, to really move quickly. He's unchaining us in this season. Things that we struggle with are going to break off, and God's going to push. He's going to push us a big push for the body of Christ. We've been down too long. Time for us to get on top. <laughs> all right. So, all right, I want to talk about a couple things uh, real quick. So, when I was asked, talking about questions, like, for example, now, this person asked me about an iron the other day. Okay, so I said the irons, usually ironing means to your conscience. But irony means a lot more than just that, okay? So now they're kind of scared about their dream. But I told you it all is contextual because there's more than just one definition for irony. It's the, the metal iron, then there's ironing, and there's other parts of iron, okay? So you have to know all of it, and you have to have the dream. So this dream, I'm going to read it really quick, and I'm not going to really um, necessarily dissect it too much. I just want to do it quickly. Let's see. Is that old or new? Yeah. Okay. New. New? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so... Here it is. Okay, so it's basically this. Okay, the first one, I was outside ironing a shirt or a dress on an ironing board. I thought it was a uh, shirt... Then a parade starts coming past my, my house and a small airplane came and hung in the air 
close to where I'm ironing. I went in the house because I thought that the airplane was too close to me. That was in the dream. Okay, so when you're ironing a shirt or dress in dream, um, it actually means, what does it mean? It means, uh, what does it mean? I just lost it that quick. Ah! Let me look it up. I just lost it that quick. My mind just went bloop. It's not fear conscious. It's actually, let me find it. Uh, you should have write it down. I didn't lost it. What do you mean? Okay. All right. Shirt or dress and dreams. It means spotless, ready for Christ to come. Spotless, ready for Christ to come. Okay. So if you're doing the ironing and it's a shirt or a dress, it means spotless, ready for Christ to come. So God is actually saying to you that you're getting ready for him to come back. You're ready without the church, without spot or wrinkle. The Bible tells us without spot or wrinkle. So if you're ironing a dress you're ironing spots and wrinkles, it means you're getting ready to receive Christ. You're getting ready to receive it. Okay. So now it's different types of ironing that you're doing. That can be a seer conscience. It can be a liar. It can be hypocrisy. It can be dealing with sin. Okay. But you're ironing a shirt and dress. It means being ready for Christ to come. Okay. So like I said, be very careful when you guys are asking me for definition. I might tell you, okay, it means this and a lot of times it means that. But I need the context of your dream to be very accurate. So you're not getting scared and thinking now you're going to hell and the devil's coming. You got to see your conscience and now everything's horrible. Okay? That's what I mean by context. Context is everything when it comes to dreams. Okay? And then the other person, um, let me find hers really quick before we get into the question and answer. That's all. Oh, shoot. Okay. I was wondering. I'm like, it didn't come up. Okay. Um, okay, so here's the dream. Uh, I would see myself walking in the classroom, although I did not see any students. I was wearing a white blouse and a black shirt. Uh, next to the dream, I saw myself as a nurse in the hospital with a needle and the IV in my hand. Then I delivered a baby. As my hand was on the baby's head, I heard the Lord say, you shall birth out others in real life. I used to teach a long time ago, but currently I'm a stay-at-home mom with three kids with special needs. I decided to step out on faith and trust God for a new direction. So at this point, they didn't renew their teacher's license. They began to go into hospitals and volunteer for a time. Um, so they changed their career path, changed their direction. Um, also, right now, they stay at home with their children. Now, I need to understand, you to understand something about dreams. Dreams, most of the time, are not literal. Okay? If you're having a dream, for the most part, it's not literal. Okay? So be very careful that you don't interpret it as literal. So just because you see yourself as a nurse in dreams, doesn't mean that you need to go as an occupation of a nurse. Nurses in dreams are people who care for people. They care for young people. They care for ministry. They care for other people. In the dream, you are birthing out other people. So you're going to be a caregiver to young ministry, young Christians, young people. That doesn't mean change your career because as a teacher, you could do the same thing. Okay? So you got to be very careful that you don't actually literally say, I'm going to change directions. You are caring for your young children that have special needs. You're birthing out that. There may be, now, a lot of times in the natural, God will use that for your spiritual life as well. So you're being a home caregiver for your children. That's what nurses are in dreams. They're caregivers. So be very careful that you don't try to interpret literally and begin to start changing your, your occupations, your career choices. Make sure that God said change your career. Make sure he said career. He might show you something in a, in a, in a dream. It doesn't mean literally, though, that you need to change. Okay? He might just be showing you that you now be a nurturer, a carer. Okay? Be careful. This dream gives alarm me a little bit because now they're confused. But the confusion is coming because you see yourself as a nurse. It doesn't mean literally a nurse. You're caring for children. You're caring for other people. Um, people see you, they might see something about you. Um, you care for youth ministry, youth departments. You are a teacher. You had young people in your care. And so the Lord is letting you know that even through those avenues, you can birth out other people. Okay? So just be careful. Again, that you don't take it literally all the time because sometimes you'll mess yourself up, okay? Make sure you understand the symbolism behind dreams. Um, like I said, now, visions are most of the time literal, okay? Which means they usually come to pass. But be careful when you start talking about dreams because you don't want to start changing occupation and moving yourself until you really have an understanding of what that dream is saying to you, okay? Great. All right, so that's my two cents for the day. Let's get some questions in. Do you have a question? You can go ahead and begin to put them up. Okay? And I'll start looking at them. Uh, let's see. Uh, go ahead and see. I keep hearing a loud boom in my sleep. Okay. I hear loud booms too. Now, it depends. Okay? 
Now, loud booms can mean a lot of different things. When I told you my loud boom meant that a mantle dropped. So I knew that a mantle, I was receiving a mantle, something like a loud boom. Um, some people hear loud booms when um, spiritual beings come into the room. Angels can come into the room with you. Different spiritual beings can come into the room with you. They'll hear boom, 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 boom. So it depends. So what you want to do with the boom is when you hear it, you want to see what's happening. Okay? See what's happening around you. Okay? We'll see what's happening around when you hear this boom sound. Okay? Uh, it could be it means something spiritual is happening. Something is happening in the supernatural realm. Uh, so that something has dropped to the earth. Something is coming. You can't hear supernatural things. You can't hear when seasons change. You can't hear, hear when times have shifted and changed. So you might be hearing that. So what you want to do is begin to ask God to kind of let you um, see the difference of what is actually going on when you hear the boom. Okay? In a dream, my husband was light skinned, but in the real life, he's dark skinned. So, you think about what light in the dreams means. It means that he has a light in him, right? Because we are the light of the earth. We are the light. A lot of times, the Lord, you see the light in someone. Uh, sometimes people appear white, which means that their holiness or righteousness, God is doing something different in their life, okay? So, he lets times he'll let you see the light in somebody else appear different colors in dreams, okay? Um, um Tractor trailers. So if you're dreaming of driving a tractor trailer, a lot of times it's a big ministry. Um, tractor trailers, tow trucks, things like that usually mean helping ministries, people where you help people. Tractor trailers, you're tilling ground, you're breaking up ground, uh, things like that for tractor trailers. Sleeping with a married man. Okay, so there could be an issue there. In a, in a dream, you're sleeping with a married man, you want to look at there could be an issue, it could be a demonic spirit at play. Okay, um, it could be a spirit that's attached to you. So you want to check any kind of spirits that attach. It could be lust. It could be uh, different perversion spirits. It could be the Lord trying to make you. Now, here's the other thing about it. Like, I've had dreams where people have slept with married men. It means that they're cheating on God. Okay? Cheating on God. So you're married to Christ. You're, if you were cheating with someone else, it means that you might be having an affair with the enemy. Okay? There's something that you're doing that's causing a covenant to come between you and darkness. So you want to make sure that you have a clear covenant with God, that there's no issues there that can cause you um, to be necessarily not cheating on the Lord, okay? You're doing something that's causing you a problem with the Lord, okay? Every morning I wake up with a gospel song to sing. Then sing it. Sing the song. I wake up with songs. Sometimes I have a song for a month. Sometimes I wake up with songs I've never even heard, and I'll play them and find them. It's because the Lord is speaking to you through the song. He'll speak to you through songs, through music. It'll, it'll minister to you. So use that song, sing that song, worship with that song, praise that song. It'll do a healing in your spirit. It'll do a healing in your soul. God can be speaking to you through that song. So use that song um, and let it really minister to you. I told you, I surrendered to my song in my spirit for months. I couldn't get the song. I just kept listening to it, kept singing it. Right? This morning I woke up and uh, the Lord gave me that song. Uh, you deserve the glory. I've been singing that. He'll give me songs all the time. So sing the song. Hear it. Let it minister to your spirit. Something God's trying to say to you. Right? Okay. Baking chicken in the oven. So cooking um, in the kitchen usually it means you're making some spiritual food. Chicken is good in dreams, so that's a really great thing. Um, spiritual food. Um, you're baking it, so it's not it's not unhealthy. It's not fried. You have something behind you want to say? Oh, uh, chicken means Christ uh, ministry. So it's really good. Uh, you're getting the right things down inside of you. Okay. And yes, and the oven is the heart. So oven represents the heart. Okay, oven represents the heart, which means Christ. You're baking it in the oven of the heart. So it's really good. Um, you're looking for jewelry. A lot of times that means you've lost something precious to you. Okay, and God wants to restore that. So be careful. Um, if, you, if you live with people stealing, it's stealing your purse, it's taking your jewelry, trying to find it. It's by stealing your purse that's also precious, which means that the enemy is stolen something from you that you need that's precious to you. Begin to ask God to, re to restore those things or to close the door to the enemy. Um, who's stolen it from you, okay? Okay, so the difference between dreams and visions, okay? So visions, like I said before, is more literal. Dreams are more interpretive. What I mean by more literal, it's not that that visions don't have any interpretive quality. You know, it might be something you have to interpret in a, in a vision, but most of the part, it's literal. Um, fire is coming, fire is going to come. You know, somebody passed away, they actually passed away. Those are usually more literal. It might be a little something you have to interpret in there. But for the most part, it's very little. It's very straightforward. Go to this church. You go to that church. Those are more uh, visions. And you have dreams are more interpreted. You need to interpret the dream. It's more symbolism in them. You need to understand them more. They're, they're actually, um, it's actually more grace in dreams than it is in visions. Visions are usually very little, very straightforward. Okay? I'm at work. Not sure if I answered the question. I'm not sure. Not sure. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Let's see, another question. <laughs> I keep hearing an unusual popping sound coming from my... What is, I missed the last part. I'm sorry. What did you say? I missed that one. Do it again. Dull colors and dreams. Okay, dull colors and dreams. Usually a dull colors represent the enemy. Black and white dreams represent the enemy. Usually something he wants for your life. Okay, so he wants something he wants that for your life. Um, so when you don't have the color or the dull color, it's the enemies, dreams from the enemy. You need to pray against those dreams, right? You need to speak life over yourself. If he shows you something dull, make sure you speak over it, rebuke that, um, and speak life to that thing. So the enemy wants to happen in your life, okay? My husband just had a dull dream the other day that we talked about. It was all dull and all bad, of course. Uh, so the enemy will send you dull dreams because he wants to happen in your life. So your, your job is to speak against that, rebuke that, and then speak life over that thing, okay? White cards. Cards are good. Ministries. A lot of times they're white. It's righteous, holiness, purity. So it's good. Ministry is going to be very blessed by God. Something tam. I missed that. Uh, let's see. Unusual popping sounds coming from my window and TV. Not sure about that one. I'm going to think about that a little bit more. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, ooh, they move too fast. Let me take a second. Yeah. Okay, driving a motorcycle. Okay, motorcycle is really good, right? So motorcycles are powerful ministry. Motorcycle means a powerful ministry. So if you're driving a motorcycle, it means that you're going to have a very powerful ministry or you're part of a very powerful ministry, okay? Pregnant with seven babies at one time. Ooh, means you'll be in a lot of pain. Just joking. Okay, so seven <laughs> babies at one time. If you're pregnant, um, actually with a lot of babies, it means that God has a lot that he's going to do with you, so that he's a lot he wants to do through you. He's going to birth out many promises, miracles, giftings, and callings through you. He wants to birth it out. So uh, just know, though. There's going to be birthing pains with those seven babies, though. Just prepare yourself for it, okay? Fruit. Fruit is great, right? Gifts of spirit, callings. Um, fruit is like everything. It's like gifts, it's callings, it's uh, things that we eat from the Lord, it's good food, spiritual blessings, the gifts. And, I mean, it's just it's awesome. Fruit is good. Bicycles. Bicycles aren't so good, though, okay? So if you're riding a bike in a drain, um, a lot of times it represents um, you working it out in your own self, in your own soul salvation, which means you're doing it on your own, no power from God. Powerless, it means that you're doing it in your own strength and not with the strength of the Lord. So you definitely want to check that if you're riding a bike in a dream, okay? And guys, remember too, I'm giving you basics. I'm not giving you full. So just take this. I'm trying to give you what is normal. That doesn't mean that it always goes with your dream though, okay? New teeth. New teeth is really good, right? So teeth is like um, ministry, callings, giftings. Um, teeth is really great in dreams. It means that you're doing uh, new things in dreams. Uh, teeth is good. And you're showing your teeth is really good as long as they're all there. As long as your teeth are not falling out or anything, right? Yeah. It could be wisdom, knowledge, information, understanding, just as long as they're not falling out or decayed because decayed teeth isn't good. Broken teeth aren't good. Teeth falling out aren't good. Um, brushing teeth is good because it means you're restoring things, right? You're restoring wisdom, you're cleaning things up. Those are all good. Let me read a little more in depth on the teeth because I want you to see that. Yeah, if you have baby teeth, immature, without experience, without knowledge. Um, wait, I want to read it. I want to read that teeth. You can see I get a lot of teeth questions, a lot of teeth dreams. Let me get this out of here. Let's see. Okay, so teeth. Believer congregation, words, wisdom. Uh, maturity. Now, if you have bad teeth, unfaithful person. Uh, it also means not the upfront person. Uh, fierce. You know, like if you burn your teeth or like this, you know. Um, it could be if you're. Um, it could be lies. If you have false teeth, like false teeth, fake teeth in your mouth, lies, right? Um, sharp teeth is predator, right? If you're, if you're losing your teeth, it's not good. It means you're losing wisdom, knowledge, your ability to understand God. So that's not good. Okay? Uh, let's see. Five is number of grace. Ten is completion. And what's twelve? Grace, completion. Twelve is government order. Uh, what does name tag mean in dreams? Not sure. I need more of that information for that. You had a dream that man proposed so you can see his face. Okay, well, a lot of times, though, when you see that, that is the Lord. A lot of times you can't see his face. That really is God. That means he wants to restore a new covenant with you, right? Okay. Uh, huge bullets with teeth like sharks. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> really, really not good. Dogs are demonic most of the time. Now, it depends. 
Most time dogs are demonic in dreams, okay? But if it's your, if your, your dog, it's a friendly dog, it's a man's best friend. Now, if they're like mangy dogs that need to be cared for, they could be people that are homeless, that are downtrodden, that people don't care for. So dogs have, you know, they do have uh, other meanings as well. Eight is um, new beginnings. You said what now? Uh, maggots are just demonic. Flies are demonic. Spirit. Um, corruption. What is the other one? Oh, maggots. Filthiness of the flesh. Corruption, evil. Yeah. Don't get no maggots in there. Pray over the maggots. Lions can be good. They can be good or bad. You have the Lion of Judah, or you have the Devil who roars like a lion, so it depends on your dream as well. Eating corn is good in dreams. Um, corn is the food. It's the Word of God. Corn means the Word of God. So corn is really good. The Word of God. Rice is really good. It's the Word of God as well. We did this dream like that, like what, yesterday? Yeah, rather, yeah, I think yesterday. Maybe Friday. Demon dog under porch, but it doesn't see me. Well, that's good. That means the Lord's hiding you. Okay, let's see. Dirty Dirty swimming pool, not so good, right? Um, there's an issue there because swimming pools, a lot of times, especially if you're swimming in them and they're clear, swimming in the spiritual things of God, it's dirty, it means something wrong with the water, it's muddy in the water, there's issues there, taint there, it's tainted, um, spiritual giftings can be tainted, big time issues there, so you want to pray about that. Can you be taught to speak in tongues? Can you be taught to speak in tongues? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 I call that baby time when people being taught. No, you can't be taught to speak in tongues. When you have a real spirit of the Lord, it'll come upon you and you won't worry about it. The Holy Spirit makes intercession for you. So you really can't be taught to do it because you actually literally aren't doing it. The Holy Spirit is really talking for you and through you. Okay, smell of smoke again. I talked about this yesterday. I think it was yesterday or the day before. We did smoke. So remember, smoke can mean a lot of different things. But smelling smoke, remember I said it could be uh, different things going on. Remember I said you, what you need to do is you need to see what's going on when you smell the smoke in your house. Uh, but smoke can mean uh, several different things. A lot of times it could be a spirit on somebody. It could be um, you can smell a spirit in your home. It could be something like that. But smoke can also be a good thing. The fire of the Lord is coming. So it just depends. You really have to try to figure out what's happening when you smell the smoke, okay? Well, having three babies and having two babies and seven babies, all the babies are the same. So if you're having three, you don't think you to look at the number three, which is followed from the Holy Spirit. But having babies, whether you're having seven or eight babies, they're all the same. Um, if you guys are having miscarriages, that's something different. If you're having breaches. Having and see if that has a different meaning. It could be three days. It could be three years. It could be three months. Right? Numbers could be that. Or it could be just what the number three is, which is follow, uh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So you have to kind of look at that, right? Um, let me see. Number 20 is expectancy, waiting. Expectancy um, or waiting. Now, this is going to be a late for work. It either mean one or two things. Either you're really going to be late for work because you're just thinking about work. Or it could mean that you are missing what God is calling you to do. That you're not going to be, you're not going to catch the opportunity God has for you because of procrastination or some other issue. That the thing God is calling you to do, uh, you're being stopped from doing it. Okay? If you're in the scripture of Galatians 5 and 10, then what does that say? And, and, and read it and see what it says and, and go with it. Uh, let's see. I'm missing it. It's like really fast. Let me check back for a minute. Okay, my eyes are like Ugh. so alligators, right? Ancient spirits, demonic demons, ancient demons, usually ancient things are gonna happen. Uh amniotic fluid broken, very good. Means you're about to be you're about to birth, you're going into uh birthing new things in your season for you. Trucks being destroyed. Well, is it your truck or just trucks? I don't know. Is it your truck or is it just trucks around you? I hate the rat race. What? I miss that. Some about the rat race and dreams. I hate rat race and dreams being interpreted. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh well, you know it works. It's going. You you'll get yours in there. Okay, let's see. What does shower mean? Shower of blessings. Uh, water's coming down, showering you. Now, if you're in the shower, uh, it means cleansing, purification. Okay. A rat coming in the door to you, swept the rat out. 
Now, I also like I had a dream like that. Somebody had a dream where they set the rat out the door. Now, you can sweep rats out of like brooms and sweeping uh, means that you're cleaning house, right? It means you're cleaning house, you're sweeping it clean, you're cleaning house. Rats, of course, are demonic spirits, so you're cleaning it out. Um, so you're moving, and it means some deliverance is going to come to you. Some deliverance is coming to your home. Okay, you had a dream that your father gave you a key to a drive stop sports car. I told you to turn left. Okay, that's all really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, so sports cars and dreams aren't good. They actually represent like flashiness, like uh, material issues, material things. Drop top means no covering. That there's no covering for that ministry. Okay, so that means that they're doing their own thing that God is not covering them. Turning left in dreams um, often is you know she turn to the left or to the right, which means it's, it's also a bad turn. It means away from God. Okay, so that's not really good. Um, there could be a generational curse there or curse from that coming down to you that God wants you to avoid. So begin to kind of pray uh, about that. Okay. So you bring us in the room suddenly. Usually it means that the there's a spirit in the room of a good spirit, right? Sweet fragrances could be Holy Spirit, could be God, it could be um angels. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you smell sweet fragrance when you know that something is happening in the atmosphere. That's a good spirit, a good thing that's coming into the room. Okay. Drake in your dreams, you probably like Drake, girl. You probably sitting there thinking about Drake. And you're like, woo woo, Drake fine. <laughs> so that's why Drake is in your dreams. Get him out. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Medical coverage went up. Okay, so your your medical coverage can go up um, in dreams. A lot of times with your medical coverage, it's the insurance or that's what God, your protection, right? So it's a higher cost to you. It means that God, is, as you move in the things of God, it's going to cost you more than what you've been paying. Okay, there is some cost uh, to incur when you move spiritually. You move ranks, you move realms, you move divisions. That's what the Lord said. The cost is going up, okay, which means you need to pray more. He wants you to do something more. Than what you've been doing. The cost is higher, it's greater. So you now you can spend more time in prayer, spend more time with the Lord. Okay? Baby fly out of your lap over and over again. Oh, um, it's a bad dream? I don't know. We'll talk about that one. That's that could just be a bad dream. Um, let me see. I would love you to teach on prayer one day. You know, it's funny that you say that because me and uh, Prophetess Wilkinson were just talking today about doing a dream conference. I mean a prayer conference. We want to do a prayer conference. So we were actually thinking about doing a conference where we teach on prayer and actually literally go into prayer. I believe when you have a prayer conference, you should be praying. So we're going to do a prayer conference where we teach on prayer and then really begin to go, especially prophetic prayer. Um, I do, I'm a big component of prophetic prayer and uh, doing that. So we might be doing that. We're thinking about doing an intercessory prayer type of conference. We were just talking about it actually uh, today on the way I picked her up. So we'll probably be doing that soon. Your daughter seems tiny angels. Well, God bless your daughter. She actually has some spiritual sight, some spiritual vision God's giving her. Um, angels do seem tiny to kids because they don't want to scare them. So they will come smaller to children. They'll look more playful to children. They may even look like children when um, they come. Okay. How do you know what your spiritual gift is? How do you know what your spiritual gift is? Well, the one way that we can find it out is one, you can pray. Of course, you can ask God. Two, think about the things that um, you like to do. Things that really... Um, are close to your heart and dear to your heart. You begin to see that happening. You can kind of correlate it to your spiritual gifting. Um, you like to talk to people a lot. You know, you got counseling gifts, different things like that. So you're going to have to figure out what you're good at, what you like to do. A lot of times that will correlate with your spiritual gifting. Like you said, you had a dream that you and her were praying together this morning. You had a dream that she won't finish it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Somebody had a dream about me again today, too. Um, it was a, what, blue hat praying? Shaw praying. It was actually a really good dream. I don't think I, I meant to institute interpretation, but I think I just said that was a great dream. I thought about it later. I, I told you what it meant. Remind me to tell you what it means. Okay. Probably just buying them placing shoes on me. Well, you know, that's a that's a blessing. But remember, I always say that a lot of times the prophets in your dream represent um, a, the person who's speaking to your life or who you're listening to or special gifting or calling. So it could be the crisis saying he's going to move you into that direction. You could be moving to the giftings that she has or calling that she has in her life. Or it could be that God is saying, I'm going to put, prepare you to begin to walk um, a new life and a new, a new level. Okay? Somebody said, Grandma, the house and dream and they know it's going to be a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. I have something I want to look up. I can find it. Uh, I keep seeing it come across the screen. screen. I'm not really sure what that is, actually. Let me see. Um, no, I'll find it right quick. I can find it right quick. 
Because um, I actually don't know what that means, and um, that's a good one for me to look up. Hmm, let's see. Um, uh, Rama Samarama. Okay, steak. Yes, yeah, steak. Steak says see meat. And meat says the word of God, solid Bible teaching, doing the will of God. So there you go. That's that good steak. It's the meat. Meat of the word. All right, word of God, solid Bible teaching, doing the will of God. Uh, let's see. Short Dream Tuesday. I'm not going to forget Short Dream Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do Short Dream Tuesday. I'm going to have to put that down. Short Dream Tuesday, okay? Pregnancy. Now, I said pregnancy about 15 times. Pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy. What does it mean to be pregnant? Birthing out something. God said you're pregnant with gifts, callings, purpose, promises, okay? That's just going on with pregnancy. Um, usually when you see things like 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, what you need to look up is the number 6 to see what it is. And of course, number 6 right now is the number of humanity or man. When you, when you start multiplying it by hundreds and thousands, it means that that is, is, is multiplied. So you want to be careful with humanity or issues like that. When it gives you in thousands, that means that it could be an issue um, there, okay? You know, grandmother always gives me a drink and back in the hot clothes. Um, I don't know. Your grandmother just taking you to church and dressing you in her clothes. Okay, well that's usually if you're getting your grandmother's mantle or is it her clothes, then it means something that got that she's gonna pass down to you. So if your grandmother's taking you to church and dressing you in her clothes, I don't know your grandmother, but um, hopefully she has a really good spirit, a great great mantle because she's putting her mantle on you. So you need to figure out if it's good or bad to you. If it's good, then God bless you. You're gonna receive a great gift from your grandmother. If it's bad, it means that there's a curse that's trying to be passed down to you, and you want to rebuke it. Okay. Two means division. Uh, multiplication or division. So two could be multiplication or division depending on your dream. What do you do available for your April conference? Yeah. What do you do for April conference? Um, CDs available for the April conference, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm not sure yet, maybe. Let me see. Wait, what time is it? What time is the prime minister? What percent? Okay. Let's see. A dream of my spirit leaving my body. That's a whole dream. Okay, well, that can, that can be really dependent, though. Um, your, dream, your spirit left your body. Um, now, you got to be careful uh, with that. It could be twofold. It's either that your spirit left your body, um, and there's something spiritually not good that's going to happen, or your spirit left the body, and it could mean a separation. So, um, let me pray on a little bit more, and I can tell you better, okay? Astral projection. What do you mean, astral projection? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, you can do extra projection. I mean, some things are, you know, they're God, so they're not. It just depends. We do another dream conference after April. Okay, the dream conference after April. Hopefully, I will be doing one after April. No, I probably will be doing one. I just don't have a date for it yet. I need some things to finish first, but I definitely will be doing that. Okay, eating pork. Um, so you know, pork isn't good for you. Lots of pork, really bad for you. So you want to be see that what you're eating is not that good for you. So if you're eating a lot of pork, it means that you're eating a lot of things that are not good for you. Okay, the Lord wants you to to um really begin to get good things in you. Okay. Yeah, flying in dreams is not witchcraft. Okay, don't tell people. That flying in dreams is witchcraft. Somebody said that once before. Flying in dreams is not witchcraft. I don't know why you keep saying that. That's that's not what it is, okay? Flying. Sometimes it means you're flying over your issues or your circumstances or your problems. It also can mean that you're flying high spiritually. God's going to take you somewhere in the spirit, okay? So flying in dreams is, is not it's not witchcraft. No witchcraft is flying in dreams. No, it's not witchcraft. It means you're flying above. It means that God is saying to you that there's some issues and problems. You're going to fly above it. He's going to take you up above it, higher. And it also means that you're going higher in God, okay? Flying over the ocean, same thing flying. You're going, you're going over there. Now, oceans, again, are bodies of water. Remember, the ocean can represent people, humanity, um, things like that. So you're flying over that, okay? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, don't be scared. No, it's not witchcraft. <laughs> right. Um, let me see. Hearing music from a cemetery as you drive by. I did not know what that means. I don't know. Is that a dream? You just really heard that. I don't know. 
I don't know if I want to be able to use him in the cemetery, but I'm not sure what that means. All the grave and worshiping. So I'm not sure what that one is. Mary to Kenneth Copeland. Well, you know, you better pray about adultery. No, I'm just joking. Um, it means that, I remember I told you guys, a lot of times, again, you see great ministers and prophets in your dreams that can mean, you know, the Lord. They represent the Lord or a prophet or a voice in your life. It means that God said you're married to the to great. That you're married to God. There's things in Him. He's restoring covenant. He's going to be giving you something about Kenneth Copeland's life. He could be adding that to your life, okay? All right. Let's see. The number 11. Number 11 is uh, transition. Transition? Transition. Why can't you remember your dreams? Um, it depends. Either you're not dreaming. Some people, now, I'm, I'm saying this because I want people to know that everything is not, um, everything's not spooky, okay? I'm trying to say this because I think sometimes we get messed up because, you know, we're doing a lot of teaching on dreams, so if we don't dream, we feel like, um, it could be some issue. Sometimes it's not an issue as far as spiritually. It could be that you're not sleeping. You're not going into REM sleep. So one thing you want to check and make sure is you're literally sleeping. Some people have sleep apnea sleep issue, okay? So you want to make sure you actually have a physiological issue that's causing you not to dream, okay? Now, if that's not the case, what you're going to do is you want to begin to ask the Lord to begin to give you prophetic dreams. Because everybody doesn't dream all the time. So literally, some people haven't started dreaming until they start listening to the dream scope, okay? So begin to ask God, so open up your dream state. Open up your dream realm. You want to begin to dream and see visions. And then you have to believe, too, that you want to see God that way. Okay? So begin to do that. Begin to pray. Ask God to allow you to see it. If there's anything blocking you from seeing it, then ask God to dis- to, uh, to rebuke it, to remove it. Okay? Uh, spitting at you means offense. Mm-hmm. So if an if a evil person spits on you, means it means it's causing you offense. Right? It's offending you. It's an offense. Okay? You dream all the time. Someone handed you an army uniform, fatigues, that means you're going to battle for the Lord. A lot of times the army is representing the Lord and, and warfare and battle you're going to be doing. You're going to be a great sergeant or, or something in the army for the Lord. Do I dream all the time? I don't dream all the time. No, I don't dream all the time. I have visions, I have dreams, I don't dream all the time. And I'm actually happy. I do have long states of dreaming. Or sometimes I'll be months where I dream a lot and then there's times I don't dream at all for a whole month. So you can't really expect to dream all the time. You really don't want to have prophetic dreams all the time. Because um, you won't sleep. Right? Mm-hmm. So... And I say prophetic dreams because some of you guys are sending me like 14 dreams, but they're not prophetic dreams. Remember, every dream is not from God. Some dreams because you're not actually sleeping, right? Some dreams come from your body and other things. So some people are sending me a lot of dreams that don't mean anything. I mean, I got one dream, it's 12 of them. They don't mean anything, right? So be careful that you don't interpret every dream as to mean something because they don't always have a prophetic meaning, okay? They might have a meaning of your flesh meaning or other meanings, but not a prophetic meaning, Okay. So, no, I don't dream. And then when I do dream, I know the Lord's telling me something. <laughs> it's usually something he's telling me, right? Okay. So, you had a dream that came to pass. It's very more of a vision then. You didn't really dream. You had a vision. If, you're, if, you're, if your dreams are coming to pass, and what you're having is visions, right? You're having visions. Uh, go ahead, Bianca. Okay. And yes, and, and the other thing while we're on the street of... Um, the, the dreams that don't mean anything. I am getting dreams from people who are making dreams up. Okay. Um, I want you to be careful when you send dreams, you know, you guys, because I'm getting dreams that I know are made up. I mean, I know they're made up. You know, when I'm doing dreams, the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. So I'm not literally just like interpreting your dreams. Some people took dreams and literally just interpret them by their symbols. I don't do that. People ask me, how can I flow that way? Because I do know symbols, but I hear the Spirit. I hear God tell me. He'll say, that's wrong. Or he'll even sometimes tell me that my interpretation was wrong, and he'll correct me, right? So don't send me dreams you make up. I mean, people send me hell dreams that I know you would, I know it's not a real dream, because first of all, if you had a hell dream, you wouldn't be that calm telling me the dream, okay? <laughs> Try to send me dreams that I made up. I'm not going to address them. I'm not even going to send you an email back. You're just making them up. I understand the need in the body of Christ. Sometimes we want validation. We want people to say that we have a gift or calling. And we do. We do have gifts and callings. And God does call us all to do something. But please try to send me dreams that you're making up. You're really kind of wasting my time when you do that. I'm not going to do the dream. And I know that this, I I do know it's made up. (laughs) Okay? I'm going to say it one more time. The Lord will say, this is made up. I am a prophet. I don't know. People don't really understand prophets, but I literally am a prophet. Okay? So I know, because the Lord will say, this is made up. This person is lying. I hear it just like that. This is a lie. 
This is made up. They want this. Even like, you know, I know you guys are like, sometimes how you know the context? You know, the Lord speaks to me. He'll say to me, this is what's going on with them. This happens to them. So don't do that, you guys, because I don't, I'm not going to shame you anyway. But, you know, I'm just not going to do your dream. And then when you finally ask me, I'm going to tell you it's made up. So <laughs> don't make them up. It's okay. I don't even need it. <laughs> I want to be like, why are you lying, child? You know, I'm not going to do that. So try to do that, okay? Because <laughs> I've got some made up ones. I've got some doozies, boy. I'm like, woo! This is a, but you know what? Instead of making your dream up, what you do is write you a manuscript. It'd be a good movie. It'd be a good book. You can make some money. Do it. Mm. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let me stop. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, I spoke on Deja Vu before. I'll say, I'm going to hate you right there. Deja Vu. Um, again, I told you guys, if you're having deja vu, a lot of times it means it is a spiritual gift that's not developed. A lot of times if you're experiencing a lot of deja vu, it's because you do have a prophetic gift that's not being developed. Okay? So once you begin to start working and developing your prophetic gift, it, it will actually go away. Okay? What were we going to say? Um, he has vision to not be a prophet. Hmm, that's a good question. I have to think on that one before I answer it. Hmm... That's true. We'll talk on that in a second. Let me let me keep that in my mind for a minute. Um, let's see. Construction and construction workers on the highway. Um, well, I need more of a dream than that. I mean, construction just means under construction. It literally means under construction. That there's some things that have to be worked and processed through. But I'm not sure how it relates to you unless you're just seeing them or you're driving through them or you're being stopped by them. You still stick on fake dreams? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I get fake dreams. I mean, really, real fake dreams. Like, it's really, it's almost hilarious. I'm like, why, who, who would send a proper fake dream? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So, now, you know you can have visions and dreams without being a prophet. Because the Bible says in the last day, so pour our spirit upon all flesh, right? You do dream dreams and you have visions. So, you can do that. I mean, everybody can dream. There is no, you don't have to be a prophet to dream a dream. There's be a prophet to have a vision, right? So the Lord has opened that up, that realm. He'll send you in the last of the poor spirit out upon all flesh, right? And so everybody has the ability to dream dreams and also to, to see visions without being a prophet. How do you develop your prophetic gift? How do you, how you develop your prophetic gift? Well, one thing I'm always recommending that you get in a ministry that has a prophetic in it. You want to get a good teacher, a person that's been walking in the ministry or in the, as a prophetic for a while, especially young prophets. Get in there to help you teach how to activate your gift, how to begin to study your gift, read on your gift. You know, you begin to understand your gifting and calling. You have to understand it before you can really operate in it, right? So if you're not understanding it or you're not close to a ministry, at least get some books on it. You know, I always recommend the first few books that I read was The Seer um, by James Gold. You know, get books like that. Apostle Eckhart has a great book out. Um, God Still Speaks, very good book. I have one by, um, what's that lady's name? Um, oh, my gosh. Going on my head that quick. The Prophet's Dictionary. I can't think of her name at the moment. I'll get, grab her name out. Begin to read and, and study. You have to study the gift itself. Because um, not so much about prophesying. It's about understanding um, the gift. Okay, yes. Pro- Paula Price. Yes, you with me. Ha! Huh? Yes. I love the people. Paula Price has a good book um, on it. So, yeah, look at y'all. Y'all be on top of it. All right. Um, but yes, I said to see your James Gold, really good books, okay? Those will begin to help you understand the gift. Like I said, I love Apostle Eckhart's book, God Still Speaks. Get those books, begin to read so you can begin to understand your gifting um, and begin to flow in that, right? Okay. I love y'all people of God. Y'all be on it. Okay. Um, let's see. Broken glass and stomach. Is that everything I need? Is that everything? Tell me yes or no, please. A uh, dream of new clothes with discounted price tags. That's interesting, actually. Um, new clothes means new mandals, gifts, callings with discounted price tags. is actually really, really good, actually, right? It means that what God's about to do in your life is not going to cost you as much. That is so good that he's actually going to pay part of the cost for you to get new new things in your life. That's awesome. I need to write that one down. I remember that. New class discount. Oh, I like that. You better go ahead with yourself. 
Yes, I am working on my mentoring program. As Prophet Wilkins said, I, I'm almost done. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I told you the other day, I've been taking off. I've been getting myself in order. I've been getting myself in order. So I've been working it out. Okay. Uh, I'll take a couple more dreams and we're going to end it out. We'll come back again and do it. I don't know what 628 means. I'm going to need more information than 628. Remember, I told you guys, if you see like 311, 628, you have to break those up. It could be 6 and 28. Look in the scriptures. So look through scriptures in the in the Bible. It could be 6 and 28, right? Or it could be 62 and 8. You know, so you want to look through scriptures. Every every book of the Bible that has 6 and 28 in it can be a reference to that, right? So you want to look in the Bible for those types of things, okay? That God begin to show you every verse. Look through every book of the Bible that you can find a 6 and 28 and read it, okay? 311, the same thing. Oh, so if you want to ask me some questions, you can go on my Facebook page. It's Rainfire Ministries International. Um, do that. It's on Facebook, Rainfire Ministries International. You can inbox me. I do respond. Um, try to ask me like really long, long questions. But I do, <laughs> I do try to respond pretty quickly to that page. Uh, so people have been asking me questions. I've been having some good conversations on there. So you guys can ask me questions on that page. Do not send me dreams though, okay? Dreams go to the dream scope. Dreams go to dreams at Rainfire Ministries. If you want to ask me a question, I have no problem. If you ask me about smells, trances, dreams, astral projection, all of that, we talk about it. But don't send me a dream to the page, okay? I'm just going to redirect you to the dream page, okay? And let's see. So about the shipwreck, that's really good, right? Uh, of course, shipwreck is really almost literal. It means that you're going to wreck, you have an issue that's coming. The enemy's trying to stop you, destroy you. Um, boats and stuff like that, boats and ships, they're all really the same thing. They're all vehicles to move you forward. If you survived, it means that some calamity either came or you survived or calamity is coming. But God's going to allow you to survive that. Um, now, red hair could be a lot of different things, okay? Because, um, you know, the color red is either good or bad. It could be um, anger or it could be um, like the fire of God, the Holy Spirit is coming, the fire of the Lord is coming. Um, so it depends because the red is good or bad connotation. So in order for me to really tell you what red hair means, it could be, I would really need more information. Um, you know, like you say, it could be wisdom, anointing, power, it could be anger, or war, it could be how you're feeling. Um, uh, so I need a little bit more information than red hair. Okay. Her name is Paula Price. Paula Price. Her name is Paula Price. Stolen car. So stolen car means the enemy is going to try to take your ministry, baby. Cars, vehicles, that is what God is giving you to do. So if it's stolen, it means the enemy is trying to steal that from you or take it from you. Um, but he is going, you're going to need to get it back, basically. Okay? Let me see. I guess I'll take, I'll take one more. Let me take it. Um, ooh, it went too fast. Let me get them. Uh, something about an Asian woman. That went by too fast. I was trying to see that one. Okay, burning hands. Well, probably wasn't seeing one. I could even see it. I thought I'm gonna need glasses after this. Okay, <laughs> burning, burning hands. Now, um, I had the burning hands. Uh, I had burning hands for three days. So, was the burning hands in a dream or burning hands literal? Who's the burning hands person? Is it literal or in a dream? But either way, I guess I could remember the same thing. A lot of times, burning hands represents a healing gift that's coming. Okay. Um, period on the bedroom floor, a lot of times it means you're losing spiritual life, okay? If it's on the bedroom floor, everywhere, it means losing spiritual life. You need to be praying about that, okay? Do I already tell me what the other one? What's numbers? Numbers mean a lot of different things. Each number has a different meaning. Uh, each number has a different meaning, so you're going to need to know the number to get the meaning. All right. All right, we're going to be good. All right, I'm going to come back. I'll do another one. Um... I'll do another one. You guys have a lot of questions. Woo, who knew? Okay, <laughs> we'll come back and we'll do some more. I'll do another one. Maybe I'll come back this evening sometime and do it. Um, and do she another one. She was her hands. Oh, so you're praying hands getting around. Oh, good. Okay, now, the Lord works with me a lot in my hands, okay? So when I, when I first had my burning hands experience, I had the healing gift, so that's what it came from, all right? But my hands burn when I pray, and they burn when I get ready to do ministry. So a lot of times I know that it's activated in my life. So I know healing is activated that time. I know deliverance is activated that time. Um, but my hands burn a lot of different times. So I, I watch it when it burns. But when my hands begin to burn, I know that the anointing is there, right? So a lot of times when my hands begin to burn, I know that it's anointing can be released at that time. Okay? You too, you too girl. Yes! All right.
All right, we'll come back. All right, so don't forget, April 1st and 2nd, we got the Dream Conference with Boss Eckhart. Myself, it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. People are registering, so I'm excited. I can't wait. It's going to be really awesome. I just I just feel such a release right now. It's going to be really great. So those of you who haven't registered yet, register, 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 because there's only much more time for you to get your T-shirt, because we're going to have to stop the order on the T-shirt. So if you don't get registered or issued in, we won't be able to get a T-shirt, okay? So if you order your T-shirt, make sure you get your registration in so you can get your shirt, because we, we have to cut that off so we can make sure they're going to be here on time, okay? If you want to come to the conference, you just go to our website, right? I'm just going to turn this bad boy around. Flip, flip, flip. There we go. Okay, so... Go to that. What? What is wrong? Oh, you know, I got two of them up here. I was wondering, like, why is it so little? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, rainfiremissions.org at the bottom. You can go there to register. If you want to make a donation, you can go there as well. If you want to book me, you can go there as well. Just go there and check it out. It's a lot going on, on our website. We got a new one. Uh, we had a beautiful woman of God come in and really revamp our website for us it was, as a blessing. And we, I really appreciate that. You know, we haven't been in existence that long. So, God's really blessing with that. I've been ministering a long time, but I haven't had my own ministry for a long time. Um, at the very top there, dreams at rainfireministries.org. You can hit there if you want to um, send your dreams. Yes, I'm, my sister's going to put the t-shirt on the website. I'm sorry about that. We, we're, gonna get, we're getting it up there. It's really a hot t-shirt, though. You'll like it. It's hot. <laughs> How long does it take to respond to emails? Are you sending me email as a question or an email as a dream? If you're sending me email as a dream, then I, I get to them as the Lord leads. If you're sending me email as a question, then you don't want to send it to the dream box, okay? You can go on Facebook and hit me up. And I'll talk back to you, okay? Finding keys in a dream to open the open a house. What? Finding keys in a dream to open a house. Well, keys in dreams mean um, access. I needed more information about the whole house thing, okay? <laughs> All right. So, some of these dreams are really funny. I don't know if they're real dreams, but I think they're kind of like, you guys are just having, um, you guys are watching too much TV, some of these things. You say it to me. <laughs> You can go to the website, you can order a t-shirt, okay? You can go to the website, which is rainfiremissions.org, and you can order a t-shirt, okay? How you said the end of still your ministry, you declare and decree and legislate that he can't have it. We have authority, people. We have authority in the spirit. He can't steal your ministry unless you him. And so what you do is you legislate in the spirit, you declare and decree over your ministry, you pray, you seek God, you, you use your authority in the spirit realm and tell him he cannot have it. Right, you have to see God. You have to pray. We have to take our authority over the enemy, and He can't have, um, He can't have it unless you give it to Him. Right? Okay, my Facebook page is Rainfire Ministries International. Okay, Rainfire Ministries International. So go on Facebook. You'll see it on there. Rainfire Ministries. That's the logo on there. You'll see that logo. You see that face. <laughs> you can find it that way. Yes, go to war in the spirit. Clark, Aretha Clark, yes, go to war in the spirit, right? All right, well, you guys have a great and awesome day. Um, you guys enjoy the, the 40 hours of prayer? I've been checking in on it lately, looking for some good prayer to go forth in the body of Christ, looking for some breakthrough. Somebody sent me an awesome definition of breakthrough as well. I love the definition of breakthrough. Uh, so we'll be praying for that. You guys have a great day. BT87, God bless you. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Tell somebody about us and um, have a great day, okay? You're welcome. We're going to do a Q&A. I'll do another Q&A. I'll come back. Have a great day. Bye-bye.